Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Umpa and today we're going to start playing Jack and Daxter. This is the beginning of the trilogy. I intend to play all of them, honestly. I already played some, but not much. We're gonna just overwrite that. Because it doesn't I matter to me. My life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Oh no. Why did they create the vast monoliths that I don't know. our planet? Why do How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? Yes, how? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants? The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do mm. not recall. The old ass rocks. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> well, why would we listen to you? So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Old green stuff told us not to come here. Do you really care, though? Man, be quiet, you dipshit. Excuse the shit out of me. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. Excuse me, ma'am. I don't think those clothes are covering you all that well. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Stupid precursor junk. Oh yeah. Stupid that, precursor Ooh. junk. It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. Whoa. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I touched it. I think we're in trouble! Throw the thing at him! Throw the thing at him! Help! I was thinking couldn't remember if he threw the thing at him or not. Man, that stung! Mm. I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you? He looked better though. I like his little rat ferret thing. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom. The two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Yeah. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath. <laughs> that tub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you going to keep yapping? Or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping. Because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides... Agreed. I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? <laughs> There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Right. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. 
None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other what way bastards. north is by foot through the fire canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. Yet I another to be working on such unclothed a thing female. Moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? <laughs> From the <What>? villagers. <laughs> Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet so, they're even we've got to pay people to get the orbs. With orbs to get the thing. Well, yeah, quit, quit, your, quit your eye batting at me, eh? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Eh, uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Alright, going through. Alright. Cool. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Awesome. I love advice. But, but. Do I really need to break all these just now? These floating egg shaped things are precursor orbs. Yes. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Interesting. Why though? That is the important question here. Wow. That's not what I wanted. There's the roll. Oh look, spikes. This is a power cell. The most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-Grab Zoomer. Collecting 20 of these so you can power the heat shield on my agrav zoomer. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Oh god, what? Yeah. Why though? There's another one. And power cell. All right. It looks like lightning. Alrighty. So it is. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. Oh great. I just ran out. But it looks like there's a well over here. Full of blue eco. That's a blue eco vent. Really? More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Sweet. I'm going to swap this back around so I can get over here quickly. Open sesame! I already found three power cells. 
Why didn't she come through the warp gate and get Good these work. wins? The blue ego caused the door to open. Get up. Ego, you can breathe energy into all oh my god. Okay. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are yeah. a type of eco. Okay. Pick up fifty small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. Great. It's life force. How though? Can you explain that one to me? Alright, there's four power cells. So I only need 16 more. Made a funny noise. Alright. Uh. Well, I guess. That we'll go to the Green Sage's hut, eh? <laughs> Hello, whoa, there he is. Good training, boys, but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Oh, I'm sure. And, and no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Okay. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Okay. Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Okay. Now, all of you, get out of here! Whoa, all right then. You're familiar. I don't like you. Alright. But. Alrighty. Oh, look, there she is. Hello. That's not the button. Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A Grab Zoomer? <laughs> Rule number one I don't date animals. That's uh, unfortunate. You don't not know a furry. What you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some okay. of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to but turn the though? capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Okay. Looking there for some type of switch, I suppose. Camera's not the best. Alright. Well, here he is in the village. Oh, look, one of the things. That's the ground. Also, the ground. There we go. It looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. How interesting, eh? Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. Hello. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I, I leave? I set off on my journey yesterday. Yeah. And I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. Oh, yeah. I would have said my word that I had 90 of them. But I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, <laughs> might have just given <laughs> them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Are you my dear old uncle? Do I have 90 power cells to give you? Apparently not. Okay. Power cells. Not power cells. <laughs> what about you, man? What do you need? Well, I mean, the freaks I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. 
See those gears up there, boy. See them? See how they're not moving? I can that tell that, yes. Village has no power. But the lights are the on. Eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. I'm going there anyhow. Everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Why well, though? Did you pay the bill? Yeah, yeah, that. Mm -hmm. To pay the bill. Oh, you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh cool. And, and another thing, if by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor ore. Uh, you know, I'll, um, happily turn the power back on for the village, though. Alright. So. I think that I'm going to leave this... I hear another thing. I'm going to leave this episode here, though. If you're... In, if you enjoy Jack and Daxter, please leave us a like down below. And this is what we're saying. I'll see you in the next one.